Hello fellow YouTubers, it's Juris Truly here, Mariana with Dark and Glamour, bringing you my next Halloween tutorial, which is a glam zombie, or corpse that just came from up from the grave and come to get you. But yeah, you can take it as you will. It's my take on it. Made it glam mostly, because my theme is glam and Halloween put into one. So I hope you like, and stay tuned and enjoy this video. Mwah. First I applied my primer, which is Maybelline's Baby Skin, and then I'm using Maybelline's Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in Nude. It's a little bit lighter than what I normally use, but I need... Now with the li liquid latex right here, I'm just going to apply it on certain areas of my face to have some open wounds, since I'm a dead corpse slash zombie slash whatever you want to call it. I'm going to probably have some exposed here, some right here, and maybe right on my nose. So just get any latex, get something that you'll know you can pour it in, then you can just throw it away. Um, a brush you're not going to use, a sponge you're not going to use ever again, you got to toss it away. And for bigger, deeper wounds, use latex and toilet paper. So I'm going to go ahead and shake this up a little bit and apply it in here. Well, pour it in here. Oh, without the squirt in. Just enough. Let's get some of that off from the brush. Now, you can do it without toilet paper as well. If you just wanted to have some some tear off skin that's just a thin layer of it. So I applied some on a brush like so. And like I said, I'm going to have exposed up here. Watch out for any hairs. I'll do a little bit right here. It's the first layer right there. And then some on my nose. Maybe one big one here. And some not on my shirt. Layer number three on all of them. Now, be safe when you're doing this. I'm using the back of a rat tail comb here, and I've opened up holes here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, reapply some more foundation, which I forgot to do. You should do it before I start opening the holes in your face. <laughs> um, and I'll be right back, and I'll show you how to open this one and this one. So for my Halloween stack that I got from Spirit Halloween Store, I'm grabbing some of the red first and filling in the scar. I did the other ones just so I can see how it looks, but I'm going to go ahead and show you on this one. So fill in all of that hole with the red so it can be all bloody. Fill it all in. And open anything else. Just fill it all the way in. And then with a mixture of different part colors of these pots, I'm going to be using like a oldy looking mustard yellow with some green and a, a dark purple just for bruising. And I will do that in fast paced motion. So watch and see.
Now it's time for the glam portion of this makeup tutorial. I remember I told you in my update video that my Halloween tutorials this year are going to be glam meets Halloween meets a little bit of gore, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but mostly glam. And here's the glam part. So when I'm, I already applied my eyeshadow primer all over the lid. And the first color I'm going to use is from a previous Ipsy bag and it's the Meet Maddie Matrimony. This little sample here. It's a really nice, beautiful matte uh, burgundy color. And I'm going to grab a crease brush, apply it heavily onto the brush. And you don't really have to be neat with your smokiness of this. Just apply it and exaggerate it and just make it pretty a bit. Because you're going to be a pretty little zombie girl or guy, however. It's, it's an amazing color. And then bring it down. Doesn't matter how far. Just to your liking. And smoke it out. And this color came from another... Actually, this was a birch box one, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to go ahead. It's called Nomad Eyeshadow in Desert Stands. A very bronze color, golden bronzy color. Pack it onto the brush. Apply it all over the lid generously. Because we're glamming it up. Like so, it's a really pretty color. And then for my uh, Make a Revolution um, Affirmation Palette, I'm grabbing one of the sh um, kind of shimmery highlight color and applying it to my brow bone. Just do it with your finger, that's what I'm doing. Zombies aren't perfect. And then in the inner corner, giving it a nice little That's pretty. I'm gonna add some more to the eye. Why not? When in doubt, add more. <laughs> on fleek when you're dead. So you don't have to pluck, have time to pluck them or anything, you know? Or trim them or whatever you guys do, or wax them, you know? Who's gonna wax a dead person's lid when you might have this happen to it? You know, peels off your skin. Cause you know, your skin's, your skin's not alive anymore. <laughs> Okay, so and then, then I'm take then I'm taking a uh, gel liner, applying it to my upper and lower water lines. <laughs> my brother asked me the other day, "How do you do that without poking yourself in the eye?" Practice makes perfect. That's for darn sure. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my Wet n Wild um, Pro Line Fill Tip Eyeliner, and a glam look is not complete without a winged line. Am I right or am I right? So I did go crazy with that. And I'm bringing it down. I'm using my other finger. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it thick. So. Nothing can fix that besides a makeup toilet. So be right back. For the lips, I was debating on either going black, dark wine, but red stuck out to me. But I'm going to do some technique that actually goes with this uh, Maybelline Cover Blur. You're supposed to just apply it to the inner part of your lips and with the end tip, blur it out. So that's what I'm going to do. So I am using, what color is this? A partner, partner partner in crimson in crimson partner in crime something like that and I'm going to apply it to the inner part of my lips not applying to the outer and then I'm going to blur it out with this tip here like so duck clips don't rub your lips <laughs> not just yet and then with the end part here Blur it out. Um, Why did I go too outer? I 
lipstick on your teeth is fine. And there. Now I'm going to finish up adding a little bit more bruising and I'll be right back with a done look. Stay tuned. So this is my finished look. It's supposed to be glamorous slash zombie inspired. Um, didn't want to go too gory with it. I could have. Like, hey, I got a thing of blood here. Can go uh, oozing out if you'd like. I might do that of some photos, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. And um, I also have the, like those capsules that you can pop in your mouth and you have blood all in your mouth. You can go there as well. That stuff tastes nasty, guys. Blech. But anyways, to each their own, I hope you enjoyed the second Halloween tutorial of 2016. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to like, comment below, subscribe, tell your friends. And I hope this helps you out a bit on an idea for this Halloween. Catch you in the next tutorial. Bye.